everybody and welcome back to Whiskey Pilgrim and to the Hand of Doom and to this very special part of the Hand of Doom series. Yeah, um, this will be a special, I will call it a dram in the dark. Or maybe I should sound more Palpatine, a dram in the dark. Yeah. I hope everybody heard me there, yeah. So this will be free videos um, of whiskeys. Usually I always have my casket. I put down my hand and I choose a whiskey. This time I have chosen to take free whiskeys. I picked them out without, without actually seeing what I am picking out. <laughs> so yeah, there are free whiskeys and uh, as you see on the first one, it will be this one, the Bendriac uh, 30 year old Authenticus Peated Malt. Yeah. So this will actually be the oldest whiskey so far I'm reviewing on the Hand of Doom. Let's see here. This one was, um, let's see if we can get a, I don't really think we can, maybe we can do it like this. Yeah, there we go. Um, this is a gift I got from when I reached 100 subscribers by Dominic, one of my followers and uh, on both on YouTube and on Instagram, he's been one of the longest subscribers to me. So thank you, Dominic. Seriously, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, things to know about this one is that it is uh, yeah, 30 years, peated malt, 46%, non shear filter, no added color. Um, and I had to look quite a lot to actually find what kind of cast has been used in this one. And it's been X bourbon cask and X sherry cask used in this one. So that's interesting because it was really hard to actually find anything about the casks. But anyway, usually I do um, I talk about the album or something. Uh, I won't do it this time either. Since the special is going to be quite long, I think. Or short. We'll see what happens. I've already been talking too much. So let's get into the whiskey. It's a space side. Um, this is the color. So it's a nice copper color to this one. But the most important thing is right now is how does it smell and how does it taste? <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. Mm. It has a very creamy vanilla biscuity notes to it. Uh, coconut, definitely. It says there peat in here. But it's not Isla Peat. Yeah, there is some peat to this, definitely. Some smoked or um, some barbecue notes, definitely. But it's a very sweet, um, you know, with the coconut, the vanilla, the creaminess there. Mmm. Uh, and that biscuity, uh, we have them in Sweden, um, it's <clears throat> with the vanilla, I would say, flavored. Um, it's really nice, really nice nose in this one. There's also some uh, chocolate notes here, and some spice to it as well, you know, um, ginger. Cinnamon, some chili. Mm. There's also something like a fudge or you know caramel as well. I've been having this on a glass for like half an hour, just a little breed, but still. Mm, really nice nose. Mm, there's some egginess to this as well, some um, egg yolk, or you want to call it. Mm, hay as well, hay, I would say, really dry hay as well. Mm, it's really good, seriously. On the nose. Uh. Mm. I want to get something like 
tobacco as well. And this one, a little bit tobacco. Mm. For some reason as well, it sounds maybe weird. There's like a, a earthiness to this one. Um, quite an earth, in, earth note to this one. Mud or... Um, um, could do to the peat, maybe. <clears throat> it's just really nice, seriously. Um, and some honey notes as well. <clears throat> it's a really nice nose. Uh, let's see how it is on the palate, though. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dominic. Thank you very much. Mm. Hmm. Oh. You get the peat more here. Mm. Mm. Barbecue notes. Some kind of meaty, savory. It's very dry, syrupy, dry oakiness here. Some figs or prunes, definitely. Hmm. Very dry, bitter chocolate, dark chocolate cacao, I would say as well. Mm. Grassy hay, dry hay again. Mm. Oh, honey, some aloe flower, I would say. Mm. Grapefruit as well. Ginger. Mm. It's very spirity, even though it's just 46%. You can de yeah, definitely feel alcohol in this one. <clears throat> so yeah, um, let's do this. Hello. Hmm. On the finish is um, has a very vanilla and peat to it. Hmm. Hmm. My god. That's really nice, actually. Oh. Mm. The peat is really nice to this one. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Really nice, <laughs> seriously. Um, wow. Mm. Dominic, seriously, thank you very much. Whew. This is um, this is something I think. If I put some water in this one, let's just see if I don't destroy it. There we go. Let's just see what happens with some water. Yeah, I would say with some more water, tropical notes explode here. There's some more tropical mm. peach, banana, definitely. Mm. Yeah, peach and banana. Maybe mango as well. But the finish is really nice now because. Not just the peat um, and the um, bourbon, bourbon, but the vanilla. 
and also gets like a peach thing going on with the finish. Oh. It still is very dry in the finish, very dry, syrupy, oaky again, but still, oh, fuck me, seriously. Mm. <sighs> if I have the money <laughs> for this, I would definitely buy a bottle. <clears throat> I would say that. Here in Sweden, I think it costs like 6,100 Swedish crowns, which would be around maybe 600 euros. <laughs> so it's not an exp not a cheap bottle. Probably the most expensive bottle I have reviewed on my channel as well so far. But wow, this is something. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck me, seriously. This is really good. Fuck. Yeah, people. I also tried before I buy. Uh, this is a super, ex quite to me, an expensive whiskey. I'm very thankful for Dominic for sending me this sample. Seriously. This is, this is good stuff. So, if you ever get your chance, try this 30 year old Ben Reacte Authenticus Peat Malt. It is. Fucking fabulous, seriously. This is real nice. If you can get a dram, a bottle, <laughs> it might be too expensive. For me, it's really expensive. I would buy a bottle like this, but got the chance to try this. I really like it. I still have some left. I will savor this for another moment, Dominic, and yeah. <sighs> Fuck me, that was a really good. <laughs> If I would have got give if I would ever give scores, even though some people say you're not a whiskey reviewer if you don't give scores, since I don't gi do scores, I'm not a whiskey reviewer apparently. Um, but I do love whiskey talking about it, so yeah. I can leave that to an argument for another time. But I would say this: if I would give it a score on this one out of ten, this would have been nine point three, I think. Or you've done 100, let's see, 100 points, and that would be 93 points, seriously, it's super good, in my opinion though, my opinion. <sighs> Thank you, Dominique, once again, and everyone, I'll see you next time on the next one of the special of the Hand of Doom, uh, a dram in the dark, and uh, that will be an Isla whiskey, yeah, quite uh, quite an um, interesting Isla whiskey, because I only have three from this distillery, I'm not about any of their um, releases so far because I always been too expensive but I have now and when this video is out I will have procured a bottle of this but not the first batch so I'll leave it to that it's an island whiskey and this will be not the first batch but it will be interesting because this is also a whiskey I've been given to so or at least a dram so everybody take care everybody see you next time stay safe bye